Hey everyone, today I wanna to tackle one of those issues that we all have when we make the statement, I have nothing to wear. A lot of the time this can be down to one of the following things. Too many clothes within your wardrobe and feeling overwhelmed with choice. Or maybe there's not enough clothes in your wardrobe and you have nothing to build any outfit combinations with. Or like me, you fluctuated in weight and are currently not fitting everything that's in your existing wardrobe. Now I'll go into great detail with all of those right in time for the autumn winter season within my brand new Patreon members area, which is launching later this month. But today I'm focusing on this third point because it's personally affecting me right now as with many of my clients I'm currently working with whilst I'm doing their wardrobe edits. Now I'm all for transparency and keeping it real with you here on my channel. And over the past year, I have, it's fair to say, gained about a stone in weight. And as we saw from the style swap video, my clothes are a little tighter than I expected at the time whilst we were recording and how I would like them to be. Now, although I'm not saying that I want to slim down or lose weight or anything like that, just because I want to fit back into those clothes, because to be honest with you, a size label really doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, let me ask you a question. When was the last time somebody said to you, I love your outfit, can you just show me that size? tag in there please just so I can check that you are the size that you say you are. No one ever asks you that so it really makes no odds. What the size label says inside it's all about how you feel in your clothes so for me personally I would like to get back on a bit of a health and fitness journey because of how it makes me feel health wise as well as in general so yes if some of those clothes fit me again great it's a bonus but if they don't it really doesn't matter I just don't want to see them in my wardrobe every day and now I'm going to practice what I preach and remove anything from the wardrobe that doesn't feel good even if it means you're thinking I'm not really going to be left with a lot. It's absolutely fine. We can sort that out. So let's bring on the rail. Now I cannot stress how important it is to feel excited by what you see in your wardrobe. It's one of the first things you do every single day is get up and get dressed. So it needs to be a positive experience for you to start your day off correctly. At the moment when I open my wardrobe I see all of this which on the face of it is a wardrobe full of clothes and this is pretty much all of my clothing here but it's like a huge slap in the face for me every single day because half of it doesn't fit me and nobody wants that dose of negativity first thing in the morning. So because of the fact that I'm fluctuating in weight a bit at the moment, I don't want to permanently remove things from my wardrobe because I may well fit back into them, I may not, but I'm not ready to let go of them yet. But I am gonna be ruthless because I only want left hanging by the end of this, the pieces that I actually know fit and that I also love. What I am gonna do is store them into vacuum packed bags underneath my bed and then I can pull those back out and revisit them six to 12 months down the line and see if they're better fitting but for now there is absolutely zero point them hanging and me looking at them every day when I can't even wear them so let's get rid of them. As we're moving into the spring summer season first of all we need to remove any of those solid autumn winter pieces like the coats and the big bulky jumpers. Now I'm going to remove all of those pieces that I know for sure do not fit me right now and here's what I'm left with. As you can see it can feel quite daunting because it is literally halved in size however I know that all of these pieces currently fit but it's going to get smaller still because I'm now going to remove those pieces that's for resort wear, beach wear, poolside, holiday bits basically because they go in a drawer in my cupboard because they're not for everyday wear. And the last pieces to remove are going to be occasion wear. So dresses that I would only wear for say super special occasions like a wedding or something like that. So again it's dramatically gone down in its size but I'm not even worried because I know I can build multiple outfit combinations as you're seeing right down here at the moment from those pieces that were left with my wardrobe. I can already see see that there's definitely some gaps that you're going to need filling to create me multiple combinations and especially for this time of year being spring summer it's normally warm and sunny most days I need to now concentrate on what I enjoy wearing so jeans as we can see I'm covered for those I have three pairs in different styles I've got multiple tops to go with them more than happy with the jeans skirts like this little high-waisted a-line one I absolutely love wearing on an everyday basis whether that's when I'm with a client or whether that's just for everyday casual so I definitely want to invest in a couple of more of those plus skirts and tops make multiple outfit combinations as we well know so it's an easy piece to add into the wardrobe. Dresses I'm definitely short sure on so I will also be looking for a couple of wrap dresses because they're super versatile which I love about them it's my favorite thing about a wrap dress they go with every single piece of footwear and they can be worn for pretty much every occasion so love having those they are one of my hero pieces. Some casual comfy trousers I definitely lack those because as much as I love jeans don't know about anyone else drop me in the comments actually I hate sitting around in jeans if I've got a pair of jeans on they are the first thing to come off when I get in the door because jeans to me are stand-up trousers 
So standing and walking in, absolutely fine. Sitting down in comfort? No, not for me. So I want some high-waisted, comfy trousers to wear during the daytime. And then to finish off, I'd probably like to add in a few more tops to build up those outfit combinations with those new skirts and trousers that I'm going to be adding in. As I'm in between sizes right now, I don't want to break the bank either when I'm adding these pieces in because my weight still could fluctuate either way. But I also know for me, it's not going to be a dramatic change. It's not going to be a noticeable change to anyone else. But for me, it's definitely more about getting that fitness journey back. I've actually really missed being in the gym and excited to go back. That's a sentence I never thought I would say. <laughs> However, even if you're going through something similar, it cannot stress to you. It's so important to have a wardrobe that makes you feel good and that you can actually wear. It's so depressing if you open it every day looking at it and nothing fits you. Nobody wants that. What we do want is a big positive dose every single morning. So by investing in a few key pieces that are gonna get added in, I know I'm gonna wake up excited about what to wear. So therefore it's gonna give me that motivation. And more importantly, take that stress and that drama out of my morning of like, oh my gosh, what am I going to wear today? Because nothing fits me right now. I can now clearly see what fits me. And that's all of these fabulous pieces hanging in my wardrobe. And then in six months time, ready for the autumn winter season, I will unlock those zipped up bags, pull out those clothes I've put into storage and I will see if they fit. And if they do, amazing, great. They will hang back proudly in my wardrobe. If they don't, it doesn't matter because I've already built this lovely wardrobe of clothes that I love and I know I wear every single day. So size doesn't matter. It's literally about how you feel in your clothes. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on having a wardrobe full of clothes but nothing to wear. If so, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out this one here.